Let's cover a neat circuit that is important when you need to do precision rectification. And we call this the super diode. And it works by combining an operational amplifier and a diode. So if you recall from the wave halfway rectifier video, what we saw is that in the halfway rectifier, the output was not exactly like the input, but you had a diode drop, or something like this. In the full wave rectifier, you had two diode drops. Now you may tolerate that in applications where the voltage levels are much higher than a diode drop, but when you're working with low voltage levels, you cannot tolerate those diode drops, right? And so we need to do a precision circuit and we can do that with an operational amplifier and a diode. So let's write here some notes, rectifier circuits. All the rectifier circuits that we study so far, so far, right? They had one or two diode drops, right? From the source to the output, okay? And this is okay, fine, if the source is much, much greater than, say, 1.4 volts, two diode volts. But for smaller signals, so when Vs gets approximately equal to 0 0.7 to 1.4 volts, you cannot tolerate that. And what we need, we need a precision rectifier. Let's see how we can do that. If you think about an operational amplifier and how it works with negative feedback, anything that we put in the, in the feedback, in the negative feedback, even a nonlinear element, can get linearized. And so consider the circuit. We have our source. Right? And let's see what happens if we connect a diode in the negative feedback like this. And we do have at least over half of the wave negative feedback, meaning there is a path from the output. Okay? We have to call this VA A to the negative input. This is where we are going to connect the load. RL, right? Let's analyze this circuit. This is Vs, or, or you can say, okay, this is my, my voltage source here, an IC source connected to ground. So consider this circuit. Now in this circuit, all this is a super diode. It behaves as an ideal diode, and we are going to see why. The output voltage is here. Okay, so let's analyze it. For positive values of Vs, for Vs greater than zero, right, what do we have? Va is greater than zero, which implies that the diode is on, think of it as, and we have negative feedback. And what happens when we have negative feedback? The voltage at the negative input, Vn, equals, meaning the operational amplifier adjusts the output, in this case is a Va, so as to make the voltage at both input terminals equal, or that the voltage at the inverting terminal equals the voltage at the non-inverting terminal equals Vs. So notice V output equals Vs. V inverting terminal input 
equals to the no inverting input, which in this case is equal to the Vs, and since the inverting terminal input is connected to V output, the V output equals Vs. Perfect. No voltage drop. Meaning, this is what's going on. If this is my input, time Vs, magnitude of the input, we just achieve this. When Vs is positive, there is absolutely no voltage drop. It's identical. Notice the analysis. Vs is positive, this output is positive, this diode is on, is conducting. Even if it has a voltage drop, the output of the operation amplifier gets adjusted so that the inverting input equals the non-inverting input, and this is what you are going to see at the output, right here. Brilliant. Okay? And that's again because the operation amplifier adjusts the output so as to make the inverting input equal to the non-inverting input when you have negative feedback. And what happens for Vs less than zero? What happens in the other? Well, in that case, we are going to have that VA is less than zero, the diode is off, so we have a open here, and therefore, my output voltage is equal to zero. There is no negative feedback, okay? Feedback loop is open. Loop open. Meaning, I am operating with an open right here. And so the output just gets pulled to ground by an IR. Okay? So what this looks like then is exactly like a perfect halfway rectifier without any diode drops. And you will need to use this in any precision application as this, the magnitude of the source voltage decreases. Now, let's look at the tra transfer characteristic. If we look at V source over V out, how does this look? It looks like for negative voltages, the output is zero. And for positive voltages, it's identical. Not a voltage drop, but identical. This is one. Okay? So, the output right here equals the input, but only for positive voltages. You achieve perfect rectification to be used in any case where you have small signals. This is also part of a larger trick that when you put a nonlinear element in the feedback like this, when the operation amplifier is working on negative feedback, you can achieve really interesting things by keeping in mind, especially when you connect the load, right? So that the negative feedback circuit enables you to linearize the nonlinear element. In this case, again, remember what's going on. The operation, you, you sense, you have an input voltage here, the operation amplifier senses, so input voltage, The operation amplifier senses that the non-inverting input is at a higher potential than the non-inverting input. VA goes positive. The diode conducts. VA, the operation amplifier keeps adjusting its output voltage, which in this case is VA, as to make the non-inverting input and the inverting input, the inverting input equal to the non-inverting input, so this is what you have here, Vs now is equal, that is what you see at the output. And that's why you have that. 
So what is VA? It's going to be V output plus 0 0.7. Right? That's what the operation amplifier is going to do. Thank you.